Hey guys, just Joshua Peterson here. Most of you know me as Peterson Electric in Colorado. Um, just wanted to show you a video on my own uh, vehicle here. Um, I like to do my own oil changes. This is a 2000 Tahoe. Go ahead and show them. So you guys might have the same exact vehicle. Um, and it is a 5.3 Vortec V8. Um, it's a decent vehicle, but I can't say that I think it tows as much as they think it does. Um, so I'd be cautious on what you would tow it. Whatever they say, I'd make sure I derate that about 70%. It also has 161,000 miles on it. It's ticking around really well, We've taken care of it. But um, I definitely think that I would derate it at 50% then as it ages. Um, anyways, I'm going to talk to you today about an oil change. Uh, so come down here. This is what I like to put in. Uh, it's a PF46 AC Delco. Um, I like to fill those up with a little bit of oil, just so when I turn on that engine, it actually strikes really well at the beginning. And I don't think I'll show you how to fill everything all at once right here, because I don't, I don't want to make the video super long. Um, I do like putting in my BG44K for my gasoline that's usually one tank and um, you can do this typically every year or every other oil change but we only do one oil change a year at 3,000 miles I do not put synthetic because this engine wasn't designed with it um, I do put either 10w30 or I do a 5w30 uh, typically you can do one verse winter versus summer okay one's a heavier weight and then here's the MOA and I love to put this in my oil change every single time. I had a lower end knock on this truck and we ch I changed out the knock sensor, which was basically taking all of this apart and getting down to the bottom inside of this V8 block and pulling out the knock sensor. It still has an issue at times with that, but that's what normal 5.3 Vortex do. Um, let me go ahead and go over there. So what you're gonna need is a 15 millimeter socket okay you're gonna knock that nut off lefty loosey versus righty tighty and pull this out then you're gonna pull out the old air uh, oil filter right here it's typically right up under here it's gonna crack that loose you can put a pair of pliers on it but that's why I put oil on my gasket so I don't have to do that and I only do hand tight I just make sure I check it when I'm done I let this drip out and I take my time at that because I like to get all that dirty oil out. I always keep a rag on you, wipe it off. So let it continue to drip. This is, an, this is a, a frame, a gold filter frame, and it's a double guard. So I don't mind those as much, but I've noticed I've just get a better response with sometimes the Delco. I wouldn't go with the generic orange ones. I would spend the extra money on these older trucks, definitely. Um, and then come on out once you get all that in make sure you get that just nice and tight snug with your hand and that's all you really need to do I've never had to do more um, and then you're gonna use four and a half quarts almost five so keep that in mind but um, yeah I keep two of these filters on hand one is to fill the truck that's my clean and the red one here is always my dirty one where I fill this back up I keep this for my last oil change and I recycle that at Walmart because uh, they'll take it other than that guys yeah pretty simple to do your own oil change especially on a 2000 Tahoe I've been doing it for 15 years here uh, enjoy this truck very much it's been a great vehicle for the kids it fits eight people seat belts um, but again, definitely not a towing truck. You're probably looking for more 5.7 or a 6.0 liter. You probably have a 6.2 liter now is what I've heard um, on the newer trucks. But this year on this video is 2017. Anyways, thanks for joining us, guys. Hopefully I helped you out. Bye.